we are going to show you a little bit around and the first room we're going to show you is called the Royal Suit and it's 980 ringgit per night. This room is 980 ringgit per night. So it's like a little bit more than $200 per night. And it has um, your private balcony, private bathtub outside, and wait that you see the bathroom. That's amazing. bathroom this size and it has also two different wardrobes one for the man and one for the lady the second room that we are going to show you is called the grand suit it's just nearby the pool and it's 580 ringgit per night going to show you our room as well. What is it called already? Uh, deluxe suit. Deluxe suit and it's 350 ringgit per night. absolutely no idea what happened uh, this morning. I was using my GoPro 9. We were in a swimming pool. We did a few shots in the swimming pool and we decided to not switch down anymore. So it's supposed to be waterproof, but it's not switched on anymore. So I put it into the, the rice over here and hopefully we get it back because otherwise I may have to buy a new one. So we were actually supposed to film a lot of things this morning but because my GoPro decided to not work anymore, we cancel everything. So now I'm using the Nikon D810 as a camera and I already use it for photos, not for, for videos. So now it's four o'clock and we're going to bring you to a very special Starbucks for deaf people and it's something apparently very, very famous in Penang. quite a few Starbucks now and it's the first time that we come to a Starbucks for, for deaf people and we've learned two different words it's hard to say Americano so the Americano is mine so this is how you say Americano in sign languages and the other one is a Frappuccino <laughs> that's really really cool actually I really like this kind of uh, Starbucks and concept. It's, it's really, really cool. What do you think? Where are we going now? We're going to find local food. So hopefully they open. <laughs> you just call, no? No, that one different one. That one, they close nearby. So we're going to near the beach. Mm -hmm. Laksa. No, just that. They have another stuff. So let's see. 
Where did you park? <laughs> Look at this. Uh, on the side of the road. This. I just park this side of the road. I don't care. Malaysia Bole. Yeah. I don't care. I cross her. Uh. Like one dollar. One dollar twenty, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Is it good? Uh, okay. I can know, I can know. So this is called the Nazi Garam Biasa. Nazi Garam Biasa means without chicken and without anchovies because I hate anchovies and it's around five ringgit so five ringgit is a dollar twenty let's give it a go guys that's not bad at all for one dollar twenty because I don't think you will be able to find food for one dollar twenty in US or anywhere else I just came back uh, home now and I left the GoPro for about five hours into the rice. So now it's gonna be the moment of truth. I really, really hope that my GoPro is gonna work. Otherwise, it's gonna be a pain in the eyes. So the rice, the GoPro is in the rice. Over here, make sure that I don't have any rice inside. There's ants everywhere. Oh my god, why is it ants everywhere? Oh my god. My god. Apparently it's not turning on, so oh my God, full of hands. Wow. That's not working. So I don't know if the GoPro is dead or not. I'm gonna try to bring it to you the GoPro store or try to fix it and if not I have to buy another one 